Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Sandra and this is Alta Sport. So today marks the final day of Rausha Kipaji and I'm here with Coach Clint. Yes. How are you? I'm um, doing fine. How was the event? Uh, Everything from start to finish. Okay, well, see, I can say it's a, it has been a long journey. Where we started it on Thursday, today is on Sunday. So the boys have really had fun. We have really we had fun. We have competed. We have a, a, a cost of emotions. We have been sad. We have been happy. What I can say, it has been a successful tournament for us. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate this tournament? Eleven. <laughs> I give it 11. It has been a good tournament for the boys, and particularly when you see under 11 and uh, under 13. Under 13 being their first time in this tournament, they have really performed well. Uh, we went off yesterday through penalties in uh, the round of 16, so I can say it has been, as I'm saying, 11 out of 10. Yeah. And uh, do you feel like the boys' uh, confidence, the boys' energy and mental state are well? Given that uh, we are anticipating to go to Mombasa to for for such a to tournament. Uh, what I can say is that uh, this to this tournament last year we used, we used it as a stepping stone for most of our boys. So I, I also hope this this year it is going to be a, a little bit more different because the mo most of the boys scored most of them. It was their first game for us. So I think maybe we'll see from May we'll see how this tournament reacts with our players. And uh, uh, give us a scope of how they performed uh, during the group stage. Okay, now uh, I'll start with under 11. So we are in a pool. We are in pool A, where we were five teams, I think, uh, five teams. So we finished number three with uh, six points. Then uh, we went to the round of 16 in the second plate club. Plate Cup, which we existed yesterday also with, with the one loss with the Tinganga Sports. Then for under 13, we were in Group E, where we were, we were four teams. We finished number one and B10 without losing any game. Then we went out yesterday for, uh, by losing 3-1 to Express uh, at, the, at the round of 16. So that's our scope of the tournament. I can see that uh, being our first team, as I said, uh, being our first team, most of the boys have really outperformed their their level. So we hope this will build us because from May you are resuming the league. So I hope that it will help us carry on in the league well and also prepare for the future tournaments that we have from May. Uh. And um, what word of encouragement will you tell your boys and uh, or uh, what word of encouragement, encouragement will you give the parents who did not send the boys here with us to at least um, help them to maybe come uh, December when we go to Mombasa yeah. so that they may be able to, part to participate and develop their skills? To my players that we, who came to this tournament, I can say that I just told them two things. We compete, we have fun, which they did that. So I can't, I can't hide anything else because they gave me all their hundred percent, and that's that's their level best, which we can make it better. To the parents, I can say that some of the boys who stayed back at home and the girls we really missed a lot. So we hope for the next edition, the next year, we will have a bigger team. We, so that we compete in all levels from under nine, under eleven, under thirteen, under fifteen. So at least we we increase our chances of winning something because you know we only had two categories. If one is out, we remain with one. If the other is out, so we hope that uh, from next year we'll have all the categories uh, competing in the Russia Kipaji 2025. Yeah, so that's what I can say. So I, I tell them that uh, this this tournaments uh, develop the boys in terms of mentally physically also socially because we know we stay together for the four days that we've been here they've been with their teammates for the last four days so which most of them have really bonded they have also competed some of them have cried some of them have had fun some of them have scored so it's, it has been a roller coaster of events that we have had which brings uh, which helps them to adapt to situations that they were going to encounter in life so to parents i will tell them that uh, the next uh, edition we hope to have a bigger number than what we had this time because we only carried 30 players, so we hope to have even 60 for the next edition. So that's what I can say. Thank you, Coach. Karibu.